Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on microservices. In today's tutorial, I have very simple objective and that is nothing but to tell you how to create simple Maven project. So these are the kind of prerequisite before going to see the microservices. So I would recommend to go through this tutorials. I would if you are completely new to Maven project, Maven is, uh, I will explain you what is Maven is and how to create the Maven project. You are only looking for the Maven project. This tutorial is also going to help you to understand how to create a simple Maven project. So if you are new to the microservices or if you are new to the Maven, this tutorial is going to help you definitely. So let's start to this tutorial. So what is Maven? So if you are aware about the Java projects, like you create a simple Java project or if you create an enterprise application, that is EAP project or the web project, what you need to do? The very first thing you need to do is you need to get the relevant jar files to develop your application. So how do you do that? So normally, you know, in normal scenario, if you are, use, if you are not using Maven project and you are using simple project then what we do we go for the internet download the jar file and copy those do downloaded jar files in our project and we set in the class path so that those will be available to use in our project so what is the difference between that simple project and then maven project now so maven project is nothing but um, it is actually gives us a repository with whole lot of jars so you can download any kind of jar from the maven at a runtime so you don't have to worry about downloading and putting those jar files in our workspace so let me explain you how it works so suppose this is my Maven project. Uh, this is my application. Okay. And in this application, suppose I'm looking for few jar files. Like suppose I need this one jar file. I need another jar file, which is maybe web related. Another jar file, maybe related to database related or any third party jar files, which is available on internet. So I think there's a whole lot of jar files I'm using in my project. So normal practice is go to the internet, download those jar files, or go to the source where those jar files are available, download from there, and keep in our project. So this is a normal practice. How about now? Like suppose you are you are you are getting some service, like someone is maintaining suppose all the jar files. Okay like let me give this example this is the green color rectangle where someone is already maintaining whole lot of jar files so it, it is maintaining web related enterprise related third party related a database jar file all the jar files this is maintaining now what we have to do we don't have to worry about downloading these jar files We have to just connect this source where these all jar files are available okay once we connect that we will get a direct all the jar files available in our system so what this green color rectangle means so we call this is a a repository so this green color rectangle which maintains all jar files is nothing but a repository this is our project which needs the jar files so we have to just make connection to this repository get define the what you need which jar files you need define in that configuration file and the project itself will get those automatically so how things work so suppose this is my project i'll name it my sample project this is my sample project 
okay so this green color icon whatever i was referring earlier it's we call repository i'll say repos for now and it is nothing but maven so maven actually maintains whole lot of jar files so we don't have to worry about this which jar files um i need to download which jar files i need to configure so we don't have to worry we have to just configure the maven so so this maven will maintain all the jar files we have to just connect to this repository and we'll get all the jar files available in our project but how to connect so in order to connect we have to configure first of all we have to create a maven project and once we create a maven project we have to configure what are the jar files we are looking for so where can we configure in order to configure what jar files we are looking for maven project provides one configuration file and that configuration file nothing but pom.xml so these are very three simple thing first our project which is sample project you can name any name to this project and then we need the repository that is maven repository and very third and important component is pom.xml if you got this then it is very easy to configure and create a maven project so we'll create one simple project we'll, we'll call this repository I, I will explain how to configure the repository uh, not a configuration uh, not configuring the actual repository we are just configuring the how to configure the configuration about maven so so that we can have the connectivity about the maven and our project and how to configure the jar files so we'll see how to do this it's very simple so we are going to do this in one of the id idd uh, ide which is provided by spring and the name of ide that is development tool is spring tool suite sts tool so it's very simple so you have to go to the so before that let me show you in the slides so the very first can you will like this uh, you will see like this a new you have to select new main project you'll see the create simple project you can skip this arc type selection in the upcoming session i will explain you how what is this arc type selection and how the look how the things will change kind of thing and the next is you have to provide some basic information so this is what i was referring so this is the configuration for maven you have to provide the group id you have to provide the artifact id and you have to provide the version so these are the basic things you need to provide the rest of things kind of optional it's good to have the information and then we'll see one sample activity that is how to configure the jdk and we'll see why we need that okay so let's go ahead and create our first maven project in order to create maven project you have to go to the file go to the new very simple and there are various projects available use the click on this maven project when you click on maven project it takes us to a new dialog box that is called new maven project for now just select this create simple project you can change this location also if you want but i'll keep for now my current location there are advanced properties also like resolve workspace project you can provide the profile name you can provide the template i'll just minimize it then we have to click next and here we have to provide the group id Make sure you are providing the unique group ID because it's kind of package for this project. So as we know, the package is unique in our project. So I'll give the com dot technoguru dot sample dot maven. Of course, you can give anything, and I'll give the artifact ID. Artifact ID is nothing but the project name. So I'll give the suppose maven sample. I will say true. You can give the name like kind of display name to your project. I'll say the sample Maven project. You can give the descriptive information like this is first 
sample maven project if you have a parent project we write assume that this is our first project we don't have a parent project then you can just skip it if you want to use any third party project as a maven pro uh, as a parent project we can configure that we'll see that in our next session right now I'll just create a simple thing so we'll provide the group id we'll provide the artifact id and we'll also provide the version in the version drop down you will see will not see the more detail it is just configuration for your maven project expands this advanced section so as like previous screen it also has the profile and name template to resolve the workspace project so it is just additional configuration just let's minimize and click on finish so right now it is connecting to the repository maven and it will create a project for us so you can see it created a project we have not defined this folder structure it automatically create for us it has the source main java to put the java classes source main resources to put the resources to your project then test java to write the unit j units or any other kind of test classes and the test resources to be used in get which is gets in the j unit or your test classes also we can see there are a couple of things so these are the source photo which will be get come what are the class you create it will be compiled and put here then we have the target and then we have the configuration file that is pom.xml this is a very important file for maven project we'll see how how it works shortly there is additional one thing automatically got configured that is nothing but jre system library and you can see it is currently pointing to j j2 sc 1.5 so this jar files automatically get downloaded or configured in maven project whenever we create a new project now this these are the basic things so we got created our project now suppose i want to change so this is my question how to change this jdk like currently it is pointing to 1.5 but if you say in the market we are using jdk or java jre 1.8 which is quite latest so most of our project are run on the latest java version we have to change the java version how can we change that can we right click and change it you can go to the build path this we can configure the build path this is one way you can do that okay you can remove it you can add but there is very simple way to do this thing you have to go to this pom.xml just double click and we'll explore little bit about this pom.xml when you double click it opens this file in like graphical user interface it says the group id what did we configure what did we created it has a artifact id which is mandatory we provided it has a version which we selected and the we are going to package as a jar file do we have the parent no we have we don't have so don't configure how about properties no we don't have but we need to configure we'll see that shortly if you have any models we can configure the models here if you have dependency we can configure dependencies here which we are going to see in our upcoming tutorial dependency hierarchy no dependency hierarchy right now we can configure effective form it is xml file and then form.xml so whatever configuration we are going to make in overview section dependency section dependency hierarchy section all will be automatically available in this pom.xml so it is actual graphic instead of presenting a file in a graphical mode it is presenting in the xml format so i was saying how to change jdk so in order to change jdk which is currently pointing to 1.5 there are a couple of option so here we can go to the overview section go to the properties click on the create type here java.version.1.8 click ok and if you go to the pom.xml you can see this property get added automatically but the changes will not immediately affect it will not immediately come 
okay so what you have to do you have to just right click here go to the maven and click on update project this is one way to do that the other way is you can just right click on this jre go to the build properties go to the configure build path you can remove the existing 1.5 version click on the add library select this jre system library click next select your workspace default or you can select alternative either is okay so now we can say 1.8 and click apply now you can see that it's jre changed back now apply and close so you can do this way so either way you can add this manually or you can configure as a property we'll see in detail configuration in next session i hope this tutorial is help you to understand how to create simple maven project you can add the dependency you can add the properties in upcoming session we'll see how to create one simple spring project using maven and how to configure dependency thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any questions or queries about maven project you can mention comment section of this video Thank you again and have a nice time.